Have you ever heard of a tensor ring? Well, this is what they look like, and this is how they work. Copper is heated and drawn to create the wire. The crystalline structure within the wire is aligned and creates a one-way piezoelectric energy flow. When a wire is folded, twisted, and the ends meet back on themselves, they create a continuous flow of energy both ways. When cut to a precise measurement, the twisted crystalline copper creates an antenna. So tensor rings are basically a piezoelectric powered antenna, a source of negative ions. Within a tensor ring is an infinite source of energy that is neither electric nor magnetic with an output that is beneficial and healing to all life forms. It is a superconductor that neutralizes magnetic fields, brings coherence to chaos, and easily stabilizes and equalizes the biomagnetic and energy fields of the body. Now you might say, oh that's cool and all, but can you prove it? Well, let me give you a little history. Tensor ring technology was developed by Slim Sperling and Bill Reed in the 1990s, and according to research by Hans Becker, they amplify coherent, subtle energies by several hundred times. One of the ways tensor rings augment water's energy is through the influence of paramagnetism. According to Philip Callahan, an expert on paramagnetism, tensor rings have an astonishingly high paramagnetic value. They tend to organize the space or create coherence in their column. Each ring is a mini superconductor that neutralizes radiant EMFs, brings coherent into chaotic energies, and stabilizes, balances, and harmonizes the biomagnetic energy fields of drinking water and your body of water. The first tensor rings were based on an ancient Egyptian cubit, a measurement discovered in the king's chamber of the Great Pyramid in Giza. Well, I hope I sparked some of your guys' interest in tensor rings because they are fascinating devices. And as always, peace.